Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another edition of Spartan One-on-One -on -one with Ross Gordon. I am the play-by-play -play voice of Norfolk State University Athletics. Good to see you here with us again. We have now done men's and women's basketball, football, track and field, and volleyball. And now we turn our attention to the sport of bowling. Bowling, one of our favorite pastimes here in the United States of America, is a collegiate sport, and we're excited to have one of the best who ever did it here at Norfolk State University a MEAC Hall of Famer, they, and she's and she's not older than I am. She is a MEAC Hall of Famer, and she is uh, pretty pretty well known around the uh, the sport of bowling, especially in this conference. She is the new head coach of Norfolk State University Bowling, and we're proud to have her with us going one-on-one -on -one for the first time with me, Thea Espiris, the new head coach at Norfolk State University. Thea, first of all, welcome to the program, and are you ready? Yes, I am ready. <laughs> all right, that's good, and that, that, can, that can take a a whole bunch of different terms. Uh, this is your first head coaching uh, gig. And and I think uh, if, if anybody knows, you are very familiar with the program. You're very familiar uh, with the program. So let's let's start here. What have you done? And, and what will you do different during practices, competition, now that you're the head coach? Uh, and how have you made your mark on the program since the, you've been in this program for so long? Um, what I would do differently in practice nowadays are just focusing on the mental game. Um, we've been focusing on practice, our, our first shots. And so I want to really dig down deep in the mental game because when a competition comes to play, about 75% is all mental and 25% um, is all uh, physical. So, yeah, I just wanted our team to really focus on that this year. <laughs> and coach, I think it's, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty neat. I think anybody who uh, comes through a program, comes through a program, goes through, uh, any kind of program, loves their program. You set all types of records here at Norfolk State University. And to transition from a student athlete uh, to a coach, uh, the head coach of a program, um, it has to it has to feel uh, a special in sort of way. Uh, how have you felt since being named the head coach of the uh, Norfolk State Bowling Program? It feels like an honor uh, from transitioning from a student or uh, you know a student athlete to a coach and bringing what I've known over the years in competition and in the sport of bowling and sharing it with a group of younger generation, it's just an amazing opportunity to, to do. Hey, look, in your first year, they didn't cut you any breaks. They didn't cut you in your breaks as a head coach. Uh, of course, the pandemic came along by this time. Uh, you would have had all sorts of practices. You would know what you need to do, uh, know where your lineup is, know, what, know where you wanna be when it comes to your lineup. But things have been different, uh, as you see all around the country. We talk about it with all the head coaches. Uh, this pandemic has changed the way people have had to coach. Uh, what have you really emphasized or focused on during practice to get ready in this shortened amount of time? Uh, one of the things I emphasized in practice was mentally getting into the game because uh, we had a, a, big, a big break uh, in between in the semester. And so uh, with a short period of time, uh, the mental game is the key thing. Uh, all the girls already have the muscle memory. They have the practice um, with their spares and their strikes. And now we just got to really dive down into our mental game. Hey, Coach, I think one thing that's good, too, is all six uh, players on the roster now return from last year. Uh, that, that helps as a head coach. You don't have to go out and look for uh, players to help you out and, and, get you, and get you going. How has that been uh, helpful for you as a, as a first-year head coach? Um, it has helped tremendously because we don't have to start back from square one. We can just continue on what we have um, practiced and learned from last semester or last year. Coach, uh, you have you have an anchor, and if you if anybody knows bowling terms, an anchor is the one that gets it done for you. Uh, probably your best bowler. You were the anchor here all four years in your Spartan uh, career, uh, and Crystal Brewer has been that anchor for you lately. And you have Michaela Lang who's a senior, unfortunately, has missed some times for various reasons. What are your expectations of your upperclassmen leaders? So what I expect for my upperclassmen is to be the leaders for the underclassmen, um, not only on the field, but also in classes mm -hmm. and also through everyday life as well. And, and you have some young players. You have some young players and they'll be in. And, and again, everybody who bowls is important. There is no unimportant bowler. You, you have the anchor, which really uh, carries you, but everybody's important. Um, your younger players, uh, their development is going to be crucial, but how, what do you want to see from them early? What do you want to see 
Uh, what kind of things do you want to see from them, especially in match play? Uh, definitely the drive. Um, I want them to see the determination and the self-confidence because I know my upperclassmen have that confidence already. And so I want that to um, transition to my underclassmen as well. Coach, uh, uh, we talked about the team a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Now so let's, let's, let's focus our attention on you. Uh, everybody knows you. Uh, you're a MEAC Hall of Famer, I think. I mm -hmm. think you are a uh, Norfolk State University Hall of Famer as well. And, you know, I don't think a lot of people really understand or, you know, that bowling is something that you can get a scholarship for and something that, um, you know, means so much. You won a championship here at Norfolk State University as well as a bowler. Um, how was your experience here as a student athlete? It was, it was an amazing ride uh, throughout my uh, college year in bowling. Um, Meet, like meeting different teams, meeting different, like not meeting different teams, but um, just competing with like the top elite schools was an amazing opportunity to do. And uh, all of my years of practice and hard work and able to really compete with the top athletic uh, students, it's just an honor to really be up there with them. It shows that, um, that I can really do it. I can really just put my mind into it, all the hard work and everything. Um, yeah, you could just make it to the top. <laughs> yeah. And, and you're replacing your head coach. You're replacing your head coach, Wilhelmina Harrison, who did so much um, for, for not only the bowling program, uh, she was a head coach when we won the championship, but also student athletes in general as she was in the uh, academic section. Um, what does it mean to take over for her? Uh, it's like how I feel with um, with Wilhelmina Harrison. It's like passing the baton um, from her to me. And uh, I think to me, it's like an honor. It's an honor that uh, I was given that opportunity to, to really lead the team. And um, I remember Coach Harrison, she would say that, you know, that you're going to be a really good leader in the future. And I know you can do it and I know you will do it. And uh, now that I have the opportunity, um, I'm willing to take this baton and run with it. That's not a bad way to start. Uh, it's it's <laughs> an interesting year. It's almost like you get a little uh, a mulligan year to see to see yeah. how things go, and which is which is always good. Next year things will things will pick up, and uh, and I know you guys will do well on, yeah. on on next year and and this year as well. You get started this weekend, so uh, good luck to you, Coach. Uh, we're behind you as always, and before anybody goes from Spartan One on One, we have to tell them. We have to get a good behold from our head coaches. Go ahead, coach. Behold the green and gold. <laughs> we'll work on it. We'll work on it, coach. It sounds good, but you're ready for it. And we, we thank you for joining us here today on Spartan 101. Have a good one.